Proving things is always a challenge, and this particular worksheet asks you to establish or prove some of the similarity criteria. Now, I want to back up and do two little review items. First of all, you and I have established some congruence theorems, side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and so on, uh, when things are congruent triangles. Uh, here we want to establish similar things uh, for knowing when something is similar. So the one we're about to try to prove here is AA. What we mean by that is if I started with two angles in one triangle and I had the same two angles in another triangle, would they have to be similar? Now let's start with the definition here. To be similar you have to establish that there can be similarity transformations between the two shapes. So if I can take the original one, rotate it, translate it, reflect it, dilate it, bam, land it on that thing, we have similarity. Because if the only movements I make are in the similarity transformations, rotation, reflection, translation, dilation, and I can map one onto the other, they're similar. So I'm going to kind of verbally talk you through it here and with a little bit of writing and explain the concept. And if I help you with this one, you can probably do the other ones. Here's the idea. I first want to dilate this so it's as big as this one. Now that sounds kind of tricky because there's no numbers here. But I am going to dilate this shape by the scale factor of EF over BC. Now you say, well, why would he do that? Well, what I want to do, the goal here, is if I can make this big enough so that this side BC, when it gets dilated, becomes exactly this size EF, then I will have some congruent triangles. I'll show you what I mean. So let's try it out. If, if I was to dilate this shape by this scale factor, how big would BC be? Well, after I've dilated it, you know, to be bigger, I'd have A prime, B prime, and C prime. How big would this side be? Well, it would be my BC times EF over BC because that's the scale factor. Now you and I like scale factors of three, one half. This scale factor is a little sketchy, I'll give you that. But look what happens in that. We create a brand new triangle that has the same two angles. Why do they have the same two angles? Because dilations preserve angles. And by using this scale factor, I guarantee that this side is exactly the same as that side. Why would I care about that? Well, this has got to be congruent to this by angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. These are congruent. Now, because of that, I can now say this is similar to this. Listen to the logic. This, by dilation of EF over BC, made it large enough that this side would be exactly the same as this side. And the angles are exactly the same because when I dilate, I get congruent angles. And so I am able to compare these. So through basically a dilation, and then a congruence postulate, I'm able to establish that they had to have been similar. I haven't written every small detail down. Actually, I haven't written much down. But I want you to understand the idea of start with your original one, do a dilation by a scale factor that would match the side you're interested in. Denote what you did and what you found in doing that and then discuss that they are congruent by the method of angle side angle therefore they're similar through similarity transformations 
Now, how did I know what to pick here? Well, when you pick a scale factor, you always go with the image, what you want, over your pre-image, what you are. And so I was a BC, and I wanted to become an EF. So I did the image over the pre-image. Good luck with this.